Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay today. Today I have a discussion slash speculation video regarding a possible hint uh, from Matthew Cote or just the devs in general regarding a Resident Evil chapter in Dead by Daylight. Now obviously this is 100% speculation and I'll be discussing and going over it and trying to back up why I think this could possibly be a chapter. Now when I say chapter I don't mean chapter 19, I don't mean any specific chapter, I just mean a chapter coming in general but hey who the fuck knows um, the future of DBD for chapters but hey a Resident Evil chapter if you think of it would be fucking big for this game and amazing like trust me the franchise of Resident Evil is fucking amazing like honestly it brought horror it also brought horror games and just yeah horror games to another or, or to a big level I guess if you want to call it that but yeah um, anyways let's head over, uh, head over to Leaks for Dead's website so as mentioned in the previous video or well, article specifically if you guys didn't watch my previous video I'll leave it in the description below so you guys can go ahead and watch it uh, in which I told you about the new currencies leaked inside the game files the game director of Dead by Daylight greeting 2021 uh, and wishing everyone a happy new year used to the term impressive stars in reference to what will happen on the 5th anniversary of the game in June obviously this year. The word stars is indeed emblem um, emblematic since in these cases it is the word milestone that is mostly used to talk about new content arriving in video games while instead of Matthew Cote uh, used the word stars which is easily connected to the Resident Evil saga. Interesting. In Resident Evil, the term stars refers to the special uh, tactics and rescue service uh, stars. Obviously, that was an elite special force. Uh, that was an elite special forces. It's, I'm reading this off a website, by the way, of Leaks by Daylight. I don't think this makes any fucking sense. Uh, a special force this division, I guess, if you want to call it that, under the jurisdiction of the Raccoon Police Department. After the arrival of uh, the chapter on Sun Hill, many fans have been clamoring for a uh, chapter also on Resident Evil and this year the Nemesis on Dead by Daylight could actually arrive. So the Nemesis from Resident Evil 3 I believe is you know, obviously the big fucking guy. I forgot the whole backstory and he has a rocket launcher I believe. Uh, I doubt they fucking added a killer with a rocket launcher to the game, that would be a bit disgusting. <laughs> but you know, I don't know if that's his only weapon, you know, that's what I'm going off, I don't really know a lot about Resident Evil. My brother's mainly a fucking fan of it, not me, to be honest, personally. But are you guys fans of Resident Evil? Let me know. Um, but yeah, Nemesis. Um, really big killer in the franchise, so I guess that would work, I guess. I don't fucking know. But yeah. <laughs> um, I also remind you that this year, there will also be a, t a TV series on Resident Evil produced by Netflix and which and with which Behaviour Interactive has already made several collaborations including on this, uh, a chapter on Stranger Things and a live streaming event with Gator Madrazo, the actor who obviously plays uh, Dustin in Stranger Things. So, uh, what do you think about it? Obviously, what do you think about this whole thing? And would you like to see Resident Evil chapter? Now, for the fifth fucking time, remember, this is all speculation. Do not take this as information. Please do not... Uh, I don't want to mislead you guys or anything. So yeah, uh, don't be telling everyone that there will be a chapter of Resident Evil. I don't know. You guys don't know. Only the devs know. But hey, I would love to see one. Maybe for chapter 19, coming out in March this year. Who the fuck knows, as I said. But anyways, uh, if you want to watch my other video, which is actually news, it's best speculation, I'll put it in the description below. And yeah, stay safe in this hard times. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.